today the 1st of March and this is the New York Times Hard Sudoku Puzzle from today. Please do click on that button down there that says subscribe, give the video a thumbs up and a like and feel free to share your thoughts and comments on today's solve uh, down below. With no further ado, let's get cracking as they say. Um, <clears throat> as always, I'll put two candidates in a 3x3 three three grid. Um, if there are more than two candidates, I'll, uh, I'll try to avoid <clears throat> putting them in for now. Okay, we've got a two that we can place directly there. Doesn't really help anywhere else though for now, as far as I can see. So let's look at the threes, a couple of threes here. We're going to have threes there. Okay, four. Doesn't look like there's anything else happening there. Five. Okay, five. So we've got two fives here. Two fives here. Ah, there we go. There's a five there. That gives us a five in the grid here. We're going to have three fives here. Yeah, not much more there. Sixes. Two sixes here. Okay, two sixes here. Sevens. Two sevens there. Ah, we've got a six, seven pair here. That leaves us with what, two, three, and nine in this column. Well, we've got twos here and here, threes here and here, and it looks like nines. Yeah, nines are everywhere. So I'm just going to fill that in as like a, a triple um, in this uh, three by three grid. That's so one of the case, one of the cases where I'll put three candidate cells in the grid quite early when uh, when they help us like that. So let's put some eights over here. Oh, there is an eight. That resolves the six. Oops. That gives us eights up here. Okay, a couple of eights here. Oh, okay, that's kind of interesting as well because that gives us eights along the top here. So that's a five eight pair. We need a four and a nine. We've got a four here, that's a nine, that's a four, that means that's a nine, eight pair here. That four there, that four there, that gives us fours here and here. And that gives us a three, four pair. Okay, we've got an eight, nine pair here, a four, three pair here, that must be a seven. There's a, okay, that can't be a seven, so that's a seven. Two sevens there. Okay, kind of interesting. Eights. Okay. Okay. Let's have a quick look again at nine. Okay, we're going to have three nines there. Nothing else yet. Okay, let's just have a look through again. So we could, we've got three ones in that cell. Okay, we've got twos here. Okay, we've got twos here now. Two twos. I guess, actually, yeah, look at that. Those twos point up, that two points down, twos here. Actually, does this two three nine? We've got look. Yeah, we've got two three nine six seven, and we've got one four six eight here. I think that could be a five. Let's just double check. It can't be a one. It can't be a two or a three. It can't be a four. It can be a five. It can't be a six. It can't be a seven. It can't be an eight. It can't be a nine. That's a five.
So if that's a five, that gives us a one five pair here. Oh, that is a five there, right? Yeah, probably should have seen that uh, a little bit sooner. Okay, that's kind of helping. Okay, all the fives are done. Okay, eights. Yeah, okay, we're getting closer. All right, what's the last in this cell? It looks like a nine. So I need a one nine pair here. Um, there are nines, nines. Okay, that's a two nine pair here. So the last digit in this column looks like a six. Six, yeah, <clears throat> okay. Ah, look at that. Sixes again are in this row uh, eight and row nine. We do need one in row seven, so that's got to be a six. That puts sixes over here for us. Uh, yeah, there's going to be three sixes there. I wonder whether I start at some point to fill in some of these. Three sevens there. Okay, eights we've just looked at, but that hasn't changed. Nines. Okay, we've got quite a few candidates for the nines, haven't we? Let's have a look at this uh, column here. So three digits left. Two. Well, that could be a two, that could be a two. We do need a three. Ah, well that can't be a three. Okay, so we've got oops, three and three here. So that means that's going to be three and three. <clears throat> Four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Uh, yeah, that's a problem. So two and nine. Well, two can be here and here. Nine can be anywhere. So let's just let's just keep that down for a second. Yeah, that's great with the five sixes. Okay, that's two, two ones there. Sec. Three, four. Okay, I think I've seen another thing. So let me just finish this first. Four, five, six. Yeah. Okay. So do we look? I was looking at this two earlier, and the nine. So yeah, I'm just going to pencil mark these in. So that can be a two. That can be a two. This can be a nine. This can be a nine. This can be a nine. Well, we've already got a three nine here. This is now a 3-9. This can't be a 1-9 because one of these is a 9. That's got to be a 1. That's got to be a 9. That's a 1. That's a 1. That's a 1. That's a 1. 8, 8 and a 9. That gives us an... Does it, oh, wait, 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 wait. Sorry, that was I'm rushing because yeah, these can also be 9. So let's just take, a, take stock. Uh, yeah, okay, come back to that. That was a bit preemptive. That's one of the dangers of filling in a, a, a on a column based approach with this system where you can only put these sort of pencil marks. There's another system where you have pencil marks around the edges and pencil marks in the middle. Um, anyway, I don't have those. So, but that digit there we can place now because that is a four. It's the last remaining cell in that column. And that looks like it's been placed, right? Yeah, we've got a three and a nine there, so that is a two. 
Okay, that is a two. I mean, that's a two, that's a two, that's a nine, that's a three and a four. That looks like that's got to be a seven now. That's a seven, that's a six. This is the benefit of having two pencil marks generally everywhere. <clears throat> Once you get a little breakthrough, um, the puzzle does tend to unravel for you quite quite quickly, which is great. Uh, now that could be a nine, could it not? And that could be a nine, yeah, okay. So let's just put those in the grid. But we do need a nine in the middle, it's gotta be there. That looks like it's going to be a, oh, why can't I see that, a three? So that looks like that's got to be a three. Yeah, threes are down here. All right, what's up here? Um, we need a four somewhere. Well, that's going to have to be here, and we need a six. And that gives us a six here. Now we need to have a four. That's going to be there. And there, fours are done. Okay, two, seven, and nine. Yeah, let's just think. Yeah, twos can be here and here. Oh, but that is a two, that's a two, that's a two, that's a seven, that's a nine. A three and a nine, a three and a nine, the last digit will be a seven. Fantastic, there's today's New York Times Hard to Do Go Puzzle. I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, the trick to that one was definitely finding that three nine pair that was here and here, which which sort of solved that to be a one. Um, after that, it was, I think, relatively straightforward just following through the logic of the puzzle. And uh, yeah, but that was that was nice. Anyway, have a great day. Uh, please do subscribe. This is really the most helpful thing you can do to support the channel. I really appreciate it when you subscribe to the channel. A like, comments below as always. Uh, it would be great to hear from you and that's it. Take care, bye-bye.